Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Simmerman, and this is part three of my final day exploring Amsterdam on November 14th, 2022. Enjoy. I nodded those pedestrians through because I saw that I had a red light. Looks like I get to take the lane because of construction here. And then swing back in. Off I go. Some of the side streets. And yes, in case you're wondering, I could have taken a side street and treated you to some of the typical narrow, windy pathways that exist here in Amsterdam. But I thought it'd be fun to do one of these ring roads where we're essentially following the motor vehicle traffic. And as you can tell, it's really not that bad. It's certainly not very noisy. And uh, other than the fact that we had a little bit of a construction drama challenges, it really hasn't been that bad. Wouldn't you say? I'm also trying to navigate a fair amount of uh, trying to navigate a fair amount of glass in the pathway bunch of broken Heineken bottles from this weekend's festivities, no doubt, uh, or I guess it could be Grolsch too, they're a bright green bottle as well, at least I believe so, definitely green logo. glass. That was clear glass this time. And we're at the gates to Bongle Park. And see folks heading in. Okay, we're back by the canal here. We're back on our little ring road and we are back on track. Heading to Kaze Raman, our lunch destination. Ah, and look at this. We didn't realize we were gonna roll right past the Rijksmuseum. Sure enough, there she is. And since we're rolling past some of the major cultural institutions, you always have to be on the lookout for pedestrians that might be tourists that might not know to look. All right, we'll stop back here so we can keep an eye on the signal for us you'll see that uh, right turning bikes just whip right on through oh my gosh horns and here we 
go. As though she was so far forward, she had no clue that the bike signal had turned green. So she was staging herself way too far forward. She might have been trying to keep her eye on some other indications across the intersection. But again, there really are none. They're all on the near side and they prompt you to queue up in the proper location. So. And check this out. This is like the, the most traffic clogged we've seen so far and the most aggressive of behavior by this dark van. He's not going anywhere fast, so he might as well just chill out. Ah, yes, the scourge of the bike path. Young males on scooters driving too fast too aggressive. Honestly, he wasn't that bad, but they just have no business being on the cycle paths. Okay, here you go. FedEx getting it done. Love it. See that North America? That's how you get packages delivered. And would you rather your packages be delivered on time promptly or stuck over here in this traffic yeah it uh, seems pretty clear to me that delivery vans in the city core are just a headache look at these guys this is hilarious Ideally, this stuff, look at all those packages, they are so small. They could easily have been transferred to cargo bikes just outside the city core and easily cycled in. Shout out to Jos Sloisman's International Cargo Bike Festival that I attended earlier. On the trip, Cycle logistics this is where it's at, folks. We can do this. All right, so we did not take a wrong turn. If you're wondering what the hell we're doing, we're almost at the restaurant. So we got off of the ring road and we got onto these quiet side streets. And here we are. little pedestrian area here outdoor market and I believe we are very close to our destination I'm gonna get up and walk here all right and I think we're here okay in the middle of the marketplace and here we are we found it <laughs> i literally could not get there from out there yay what a 
fabulous lunch and conversation with Dr. Meredith Glazer, director of the Urban Cycling Institute, and Jason Slaughter with Not Just Bikes. If you haven't seen uh, or listened to my conversations with them, I'll leave those links in the show notes below. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this ride. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share it with a friend. And I'll have more of my ride later in the afternoon in the coming days. But until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.